So today's job is to remove this little alternator which is um, 90 amps, yeah 90 amp and uh, it's got a knackered clutch like the sort of slip clutch thingy in the uh, pulley's knackered so we've got a better one to go on we have got this massive chunky thing which is uh, 180 amps and this came off an Audi A3 um, the mounts all look the same and this one has a good clutch in it as you can probably hear it I can stop that quick um, so that's good so yeah this, this big one's going on in place of the buggered little one um, thing is I have two batteries on this car so um, it's pretty handy having the extra amps also uh, three batteries sometimes when the caravan's hooked up so um, yeah it might as well just upgrade it I also got the uh, positive lead as well for that alternator over there so means everything can be upgraded and uh, yeah this one as I say it started to nuke the belt a little bit because you can maybe see it's a bit dusty um, rubber particles everywhere right there it's because the the clutch has gone in this so this is effectively C solid so that there should be slip in that so when you switch the engine off uh, the alternator can spin down slowly this one doesn't do that so um, yeah get that off and replace well, the big 180 amp alternator is now in. Uh, this is one that came from an Audi A3. It's exactly the same as the ones that you get on uh, VW Passats and the A6 and all this sort of stuff as well. Uh, the PDs with the longitudinally mounted engines, for those interested. But yeah, direct fit, uh, it's all in. Not as much space now here, um, but it's okay. I had to push the AC pipe a little bit. Um, but it's still happy, it's still okay. So uh, yeah, it looks decent. Um, I did have to shave down the bushings a little bit, which I can show you on this alternator. Um, if you can see these are the bolts that go through and take it out. Bear with me. We're getting, regretting why I wind them up so far. There we go. Yeah. Um, these little bushings just in here, uh, I did have to shave them down slightly on the new alternator by about a mil or so. Um, reason being is because they are supposed to be movable, so they fit, you know, different engines I guess. Um, but it was properly seized, so yeah. I tried thumping it with a hammer, but I didn't want to break the aluminium, so I just left it. Shaved it down, and then once I put the bolts back in, uh, like that when it's on the engine, um, these will then start to move in and make up the extra gap. So uh, yeah, it's okay. This alternator is actually all right. It's just the pulley that's gone on it, as you can see. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get another pulley and keep it as a spare because it's 90 amp, but it'll do another car. Um, the only reason I upgraded mine was because I run more power, bigger batteries, a lot more equipment like the sound system and various other things. So, um, yeah, 180 amp, as you can maybe see. There we go. Um, that's definitely more than is needed. It also means that when I'm charging my caravan and the secondary battery and everything in the boot, it'll be fine. So, uh, yeah, there you go.